Now is the time to create a project on Quartus 2 in order to lay out our design and run the design on the board. So start Quartus 2, then go to the pro new project wizard, next, and set the layout folder, create new folder, create the folder layout, and set the layout folder. What is the name of the project? This one top level of the FPGA next and then add all the file you need next now we have to set the FPGA we need to to, ta to target our design Cyclone 3 and the model is Cyclone 3 16, 16F484C6. Okay, go ahead, finish. At this point, we have all the files we need, all the files we need, and FBGA. Then Start compilation. Okay, compilation stopped. And we have only 1% of the logic element and only 1% of dedicated logic register. One more thing. Do you know what? we need to assign the pin in fact the pin all the pin are, are unassigned in this case there are two ways to assign the pin or open the pin assignment and start to assign all the location or use a script if we want to use a script we need to turn off our project then open QSF file where you can find all the project constraints and then copy and paste the script we, we provide you has pin assignment where you can find all the assignment in the FPGA so select all copy and paste save and then <coughs> start quartus again with double click on the quartus 2 on the quartus 2 project file in this case we have all the pin assigned Okay. Now, you have to notice that in the script, the GPIO one, 
GPIO1 D0 doesn't have the pull-up resistor so you need to add manually the pull-up resistor in your Quartus 2 installation maybe there is no column with pull-up resistor you need to add using right click here customize column and add the pull-up resistor so GPIO1 0 on then close the file yes and this is the pull-up resistor then start again and now we are ready to go in this case if we want if we see the pinout file we have all the pin assigned in the location our time in quest say has that we run up to 100, 250 megahertz we did not set a clock constraint and the quarters to implement a constraint of 1 giga in this case our half max is ok let's start and program the Altera board to program the Altera board you need to connect the USB blaster the power supply and the connect the wire, wire provided with the Altera board to the GPIO in this board we soldered these pins to the UART section in order to use the UART with an external connector and we can use the ground of the UART as switch connecting the, the wire to ground so turn on the board when you turn on the board you can see the default design loaded in the board and then start Quartus programmer and start programming when the Quartus finished programming you can see our design loaded so we have the 7 segment LED to 0 this is the reset you can see the LED LID blinking when I push the button and then pushing the button to you can see the counter that counts plus one and LID that turn on every time I push the button now let's try with the external switch as you can see when I touch the ground the counter counts more than plus one because there is a bouncing 
as you can see on the LED blinking that provide more than one more than one pulse so we need a circuit capable to debounce the switch if I push the button, the reset button I reset the counter so it's time to start coding open lab1 folder that contains three files in bhdl folder counter underscore hub4 that is the hub counter rising edge detector dot bhd the edge detector and da0 fpga that is the top level of the fpga in the tb folder the tb folder contains the simulation script so you need to open the bhdl file and complete the code where you find insert your code here set the simulation folder as lab1 slash vhdl and create the library work then simulate the code in order to obtain the the behavior that you saw in the live section and lay out the vhdl code in order to lay out your vhdl design as explained in the live section. If you need help, Lab2 contains the solution.